Good evening and welcome to local news from local Facebook groups. Here are the headlines. Goat gangs prowl the streets in Landudno. Chalton bakers scare away thieves during attempted break-in. Robot vacuum cleaner makes a bid for freedom and escapes from Cambridge Travel Lodge. More on those later, but first our top story. A local restaurant has hit the headlines after its innovative dessert went viral. Let's find out what all the fuss is about. We're joined now by head chef and restaurant owner Val Haller. Good evening, Val. All right there, Bab. Now, Val, you might be a familiar face to a lot of our viewers because you haven't always been a head chef, have you? That's right, Bab. Um, before this, I used to be uh, a dinner lady at the uh, Dudley Primary School. Can you tell us how you first got the idea for your gastronomic experience? Well, what had happened is I went and burnt Miss Spotty Dick. I had now to give him for pudding, and then um, I remembered when I was at school how the little toddlers used to eat the chocolate pudding, all over the fingers, all over the faces, the little looks on their face. So um, what what I did is we had a big box of uh, out of date Cadbury's Freddos at the back, melted that down, went out with a pan and a ladle, and the rest is history. And do you have any other extra special meals on your menu? Oh yes, well, uh, they like drinking their consomme, you know, that watered-down soup with big bendy straws. And um, the edible scrabble's gone down a storm, and that's just shreddies and alphabet spaghetti. <laughs> now, before we go, Val, I must say, this must be a lot of extra work for your cleaning staff. Oh, no, it isn't. No, it's all interactive here at my restaurant. Well, they've got chocolate fingers. They might as well take the plates out to the sink and wash them as well. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Val. Are we done now? I suppose I'd better run those frozen prawns into the hot tap. Thank you, Val. I, for one, can't wait to tuck into her tasty treats. Now, showbiz. Let's head over to our entertainment correspondent to find out what's going on. Yeah, Biggins. It'll be you and the, one of the Nolans. Celebrity Love Island. Oh, sorry, I better go. Call it a bit, Dal. Oh, I oh, it's all go here. Yeah. <laughs> well, rumours has it that Adele has been in the back bedroom roaring again. She's had to cancel some of her shows, apparently, in Las Vegas. You know, that sort of American Blackpool. Um, well, do you know the tickets are between £50 and 500 And they said she can do 24 shows. That's nearly £12 million. No wonder she's sat on her bed roaring. Anyway, I've got a friend who's got a friend who knows the woman who makes her, you know, Adele Slimming dinners. And she said that she wants all the money for the shows that she's not going to be appearing at. Bit cheek, isn't it? But as Adele said, should I give up or should I just keep chasing payments? Now, another insider mate of mine, Vera, she does the ironing on Loose Women. And she said that ITV are planning to do Coronation Street three times a week, an hour an episode. Emmerdale, five nights a week, which most probably will clash with EastEnders. That's my TV schedule all up the spout. Mind you, my husband says, you watch far too much telly. I think he's right. Even when I dream there's had commercials in them. <laughs> Mind you, my friend Irene, she works down at that college, you know, and the media studies students say to her, watching too much TV lowers your IQ. You should start reading instead. I said, Irene, ignore them, do what I do. Watch your soaps with the subtitles on. <laughs> I'll see you next week, Dal. Ruby, can you get me Jay McDonald on, on line one? Cheers, Dal. Thanks, Auntie Carol. Ooh, I love a good soapy binge. Now, before we go, let's find out what the weather's going to be like where you live. Tamsin, what's the weather going to be like where they live? Hiya. Looks cloudy. I'll get your woolies out. It's going to be a frosty one. See ya. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next week. <laughs>